Hello fellow compounders. Here's a secret. Most people don't like to do the work needed to be an active investor. Most people are lazy investors. If you're in the camp of the lazy couch potato investor, I have good news for you. You can actually do pretty well investing in the stock market. In fact, you can outperform about 80% of active investors by investing in a well-diversified, low-cost portfolio like the Buffett portfolio or the Bogleheads three fund portfolio. In this video, I will compare both portfolios to find out which one is better. This video is for educational purposes only and should not be considered financial advice. I am not your financial advisor and you are responsible for your own financial decisions. For those who don't know, let's review. The Bogleheads three fund portfolio consists of, you guessed it, three funds. A total US stock market index fund, a total international market index fund, and a total bond market index fund. Another simple alternative is the Warren Buffett portfolio. It's the portfolio that Warren Buffett set up for his wife for after he passes away. His instructions to his trustees are to place 90% of the assets in a low cost S&P 500 index fund and 10% in a short term US Treasury fund. Both Warren Buffett's portfolio and the Bogleheads 3 fund portfolio have several benefits for investors. The benefits are 1. Simplicity. Both portfolios are relatively simple and easy to implement, which makes them attractive to individual investors who may not have the time or the expertise to manage a more complex investment strategy. 2. They're low cost. Both portfolios are based on a low cost investment philosophy that emphasizes the use of low cost index funds to capture market returns. Both strategies seek to minimize fees and expenses and maximize long term returns. 3. Diversification. Both portfolios provide a diversified investment strategy that spreads risk across multiple asset classes. And four, long-term growth potential. Both portfolios are designed to provide long-term growth potential and are based on an investment philosophy that emphasizes the importance of patience and discipline to achieve investment success. And five, accessibility. Both portfolios are easy to implement. Individual investors can purchase low-cost index funds through online brokerage accounts or other investment platforms. Let's look at the differences. The main differences between the Buffett portfolio and the Boglehead 3 fund portfolio are, number one, the number of funds. Obviously, Warren Buffett's consist of two funds, while the Boglehead 3 fund portfolio consists of three funds. Number two, asset classes. Warren Buffett's portfolio only invests in US stocks and bonds, while Boglehead's 3 fund portfolio has exposure to both US stocks and bonds and adds international stocks. Three, the bond allocation. Warren Buffett's portfolio typically has a smaller allocation to bonds, which are US short-term treasuries, while the Bogleheads 3 fund portfolio generally has a larger allocation to bonds and a wider bond coverage. Four, the investment philosophy. Warren Buffett's portfolio is based on his personal investment philosophy, which emphasizes long-term growth potential of the US stock market. While the Bogleheads 3 fund portfolio is based on John Bogle's investment philosophy of capturing the returns of the global stock and bond markets. How do the portfolios perform? Let's review the performance of both funds using PortfolioVisualizer.com. For the Bogleheads 3 fund portfolio, we'll use a 50% allocation to Vanguard's US total market fund, BTSAX, a 30% allocation to Vanguard's total international index fund, BGTSX, and a 20% allocation to Vanguard's total bond market index fund. It's a 80% equities and 20% bond portfolio. For Buffett's portfolio, we'll use a 90% allocation to Vanguard's S&P 500 index admiral fund and a 10% allocation to the Vanguard's short-term treasury index admiral fund. And we'll do another Boglehead 3 fund portfolio with a 90% equity and 10% bond mix, so it's more similar to the Buffett's portfolio mix. We will do a 56% US, 34% international, and 10% bond mix. We back tested the three portfolios from 2010 to January 2023, and here are the results. Portfolio number one. The Bogleheads three fund portfolio ended the period with $27,989 and had an average annual return of 8.18% with a best year of 23.55% and a worst year of minus 17.23%. Its max drawdown for the period was 23.42%. Portfolio number two, Buffett's portfolio ended the period with $41,387 
and it had an average annual return of 11.47%, with a best year of 29.13% and a worst year of minus 16.72%. Its max drawdown for the period was a negative 21.96%. Portfolio number three, the Boglehead 3 fund portfolio with a 90-10 equity bond allocation, ended the period with $30,379 and had an average annual return of 8.86% with a best year of 25.42% and a worst year of negative 17.73%. Its max drawdown for the period was a negative 24.51%. We see that Buffett's portfolio won in all metrics, annual return, max drawdown, best and worst years. It looks like over the long term, 10 or more years, Buffett's portfolio is the one that we should have used. Let's take a look at the results of shorter timeframes. Based on the data, I prefer Buffett's portfolio. You could say that the three fund portfolio was hampered by poor performance of the non-US stocks. However, you could argue that the S&P 500 have a significant part of its revenue coming from outside of the United States. So you get international exposure in the S&P 500 fund also. So the evidence is clear. Over the past 13 years, Buffett's portfolio outperformed the three fund portfolio by almost 3% per year. That is too much of a difference to give up. So, I would suggest the Buffett portfolio to someone who has a lot of time to compound. However, since past performance is no guarantee of future performance, the Bogleheads 3 fund portfolio might be useful for someone who is comfortable with non-US stocks and believes that the rest of the world will outperform the United States in the decades to come. If it were me, I would use Buffett's portfolio and I might replace the S&P 500 with a total US stock market fund to gain some exposure to small and medium sized businesses. But the Buffett portfolio as is works perfectly fine. Both portfolios are so easy to implement that there's no excuse for anyone not to be investing. I prefer Buffett's portfolio.